Hello and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi my name is Mary and welcome to another Craft Day Wednesday where every Wednesday I post a new video. In today's video I am going to be showing you how I made this little red truck. I've been looking for one of the little red trucks in Dollar Tree and I have not had no luck so I decided why not just make my own. So this is my take on the red truck. So I'm just going to go ahead now and tell you what you're going to need for this project and then we're just going to get into the video. So first of all, what we're going to need is a scrap piece of wood that I have here. You're going to need a few different size jumbo popsicle sticks or craft sticks. You're going to need a white piece of paper. A button to trace. Um, you're going to need some cardboard or a, a very thin piece of paper. You can even use cardstock. This is what I have. And I cut a triangle out of it, and this is how I made the tree shape. You're going to need green pop uh, craft sticks, or no, pipe cleaner. You're also going to need yellow and brown. You're going to need a paintbrush, glue sticks, red paint, shears to cut with, and scissors. So I'm going to go ahead now and turn the camera down so y'all can see what I'm doing. Oh, and you're also going to need buttons. These are going to be your wheels. So we're going to go ahead now and turn the camera down so y'all can see what I'm doing. Alrighty then. So here we go. So first things first is you're going to take your scrap piece of wood and you're going to draw the shape of the truck on here like I've already done. I'm going to go ahead and we're just going to make this a little bit darker. And once you get that drew on, this is what it should look like. And then we're going to go ahead and um, cut this out. But you're going to want to use a saw, and I've already done mine. You can't cut this unless you got balsa wood or a flexible wood that you can cut with, cut out. You're going to have to have a saw. And I've already went ahead and cut mine out. So this is what it looks like once it's all cut out. And next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our buttons. And we're going to go ahead and glue our buttons down into place. So I'm just putting some hot glue here. And we're just going to go ahead and stick our buttons down into place. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. And we're going to go ahead and stick that down off in the hot glue. And we're going to let that set there while we go ahead and do the rest. Now that button that I was telling you about, you're going to take a button, you're going to slide that, and you're going to put that button on and you're going to trace and cut out. I have one here and we're just going to go ahead and cut out the other one. And this is going to be the, the white that's in the tire. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut this out. Just like this. And we're just going to go ahead and put a little bit of hot glue right there. And we're just going to stick that white in there like that. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. And there's your white in your tires. And this is what we have so far. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to start building the truck. So what I did was I took one of my regular popsicle sticks and I just cut it in half. 
And when you do that, you're going to take your popsicle stick, and I'm just going to go ahead and show you. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take that popsicle stick, and we're just going to cut one end off. And you're going to end up with it looking like this. And then you're going to take another part of that stick, and you're just going to go ahead and you're going to cut off another piece. Like that. And we're just going to go ahead and glue this into place. You do not need to be up here, Coco. So we're just going to stick that here, just like this. Hold on, y'all. Come on. Up. Good girl. So y'all all know Coco by now. She likes to be seen. Okay, so now that we have that part, so what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take, I took this, how I got this shape was I took this part and I took a skinny, or a regular popsicle stick, a standard, and you're just going to cut it at an angle like this. And then you're going to go ahead and cut it this way. So you end up with a shape like this. This way. Yeah, like that. And then we're just going to go ahead and we're going to glue this into place. So when you get done, it should look like this. But I'm going to glue mine on top. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of hot glue here. And we're just going to stick this right here. And I'm going to hold that until it dries. And then we're going to go ahead and take this piece. And we're just going to stick this on here at an angle. So we're just going to put a little bit of hot glue here and a little bit here. And you just stick this up so it's facing up a little bit, not all the way. And this is what you get. Now what you're going to do, you're going to take this part. And you're just going to glue it down. So I'm going to go ahead now and put a little bit of hot glue right on the edge of this. And then you're going to pick where you want it, how far back you want it to be. And I am just going to go ahead and stick mine here. And I got to hold it up a little bit. And I'm just scraping off a little bit of that extra glue because we don't need it. And this is what you have. Next, what we're going to do, and if you want to bring this part up a little more, you can. So let's just take that off because I think I want mine to be a little closer to the front. So I'm just going to pull, uh, peel off that glue because that's the thing with um, hot glue. If you make a mistake or if you put it somewhere and you don't really want it there, it peels right off. And yeah. You can just do it all over again. So, again, we're going to go ahead and put some hot glue on here. And I'm just making sure I put enough. And I think I'm going to have mine more towards the front. So, I'm going to put mine right about here. And this is what we have. Now, what we're going to do 
is we're going to go ahead and take another piece of that, the same uh, popsicle stick, and we're just going to cut the ends off. And this is what we're going to use for the back. And then we're just going to mark it to see where we need to cut. And I think I need to cut right there. So I'm going to go ahead and take my shears, and I'm just going to cut right there. And I am going to go ahead and stick this into place. So I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue here. And then we're just going to put a little bit more here. Just like that. And I need to switch this because I am right-handed. And you're going to let that dry before you move on to the next step. So this is what we have. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of that, another, I'll just grab a standard popsicle stick, and we just want the very end of it. So you're just going to cut just the very end like that. And we're going to put that right at the end here. So I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue here. And I'm just going to stick this. I'm going to pull that up a little. And this is what we end up with. Now I'm going to move all of this stuff out of my way because now it's time to, um, now uh, in my truck, I have plastic for the window. And all I did was took a thin piece of plastic from a package and I just cut around it to make it, to cut it down to size. And since we already got this turned towards the back, I'm just going to go ahead and stick it on. So I'm just cutting a little more of the plastic off like this. And we're just going to go ahead and stick that into place. So you're going to put a little bit of hot glue down like that. And we're going to go ahead and stick this right into place. And there's your window. Now, and I totally put that on the wrong side. It is okay. Okay, so yeah, I screwed up. I put, I put that on the outside instead of the end, but it's fine. Remember what I said about the hot glue? It's not going to affect anything. I'm just going to peel it off and turn it over and put it on the other side. And I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue down here to stick this back in place. Alright, so now we're going to turn this over this way, and we're going to stick this on the opposite side. That's not all that pretty. So, yeah. So once again, we're going to just go ahead and stick our glass mirror, or plastic mirror, into place, which is going to serve as the window. And this is what we have. So here it is. All right, now that we have that, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and with the Christmas tree. And um, you could do the Christmas tree one or two ways. Like I mentioned, I took my paper and I just cut out a triangle and I glue a base on. Now you can take your, you can use felt and you can glue the felt on this way.
You can glue the felt on like this if you want. Or you can use pipe cleaner like I did. But uh, if you decide to use the pipe cleaner, all you're going to do is just cut it in strips and just glue it all the way up. So you're just going to cut in strips and you're going to go all the way up. But I like the idea of the felt. So I'm going to use the felt. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some um, hot glue on here. Because I kind of do, don't really want my trucks to be identical. So we're just going to stick this right down on the felt. On the felt right down on the plastic. Just like this. So this is what we have. And if you have some white sticking out, you could just trim it. And for our trunk of the tree... We're going to take our brown pipe cleaner and we're just going to go ahead and put this, glue this into place. So I need to cut here and I'll do, go ahead and do two because I think I might need two of them. So this is what we have, and I'm just going to go ahead and put some hot glue here. Like that. And I'm going to go ahead and put a little more hot glue here, like this. And this is what we end up with. And the white that you can see, you're just going to take that scissors. And you're just going to trim that off. And this is what you're going to end up with. Now what you're going to do, and um, you can do the back, but um, I think I wanna, for the back I'm going to use the pipe cleaners. So I'm going to go ahead, that way my tree will be two different colors on one side and on the other. Because um, I don't think I have any more... Um, dark felt. I mean, I do. I just will have to leave my camera to go pick it up. So, and I don't want to stop and pause it to go get it. So, we're just going to go ahead and go with it. So, this is what we're doing. And we're just going to go ahead and we're just going to put some hot glue on and we're just going to bend and turn. So, it's going to go just like this. So all you're doing is just bending it and folding it over on itself until you get all the way to the top. And this is this what I think for this step when I did the first tree, I think it took me like maybe five or six pipe cleaners. It wasn't it wasn't a whole lot. Then. And we're just going to keep on bending and twisting. So, yeah. I'm just going to keep on wrapping. And this, this part takes a little bit of time. So, yeah. That's one reason why I went with the felt because I don't want the video to be extra long. And this part is kind of tedious. It takes uh, a while to do. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm not going to wrap this all the way. Y'all get the idea of how to put it on here without me actually sitting here and y'all watching me wrap this several times but you get this is what it's gonna look like once you wrap it this is the one side and this is the other you know what I'm just I'm just gonna go ahead and finish it off y'all I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap it 
and then I'll just glue it into place. And if you overlap, which you will, then you just kind of clean up your edges. So basically all I'm doing is just bending and turning. And if you get some uh, glue uh, on it, once it dries, it'll scrape right off. So, yeah. And now I'm going to grab another one and we're just going to continue here. And I'm going to turn this up this way. And we're going to turn it back. This way. This way. And we're almost done with this part. Um, I also will not be painting this on camera. Not fully. And, um... And um, I guess if you want to make this truck another color other than red, you can. I've seen, um, also seen some green trucks. I'm not real big on green, so I most likely won't do that. But um, this is what we have. And like I said, just cut your edges. Just clean them up a little bit. And then we're going to do the same thing to the other side. And I'm going to get that out of the way. And this is what you have. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your yellow. You're going to put a dab of glue here. And you're just going to stick that into place. This is going to serve as the star. And you don't have to do this step if you don't want to. I thought it just made it, added a little extra character to it. So... Yeah, we got that here, just like this. And I got to get the glue off my fingers. And now that we have that, you're just going to take your tree and you're just going to glue it in here just like this. So I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue here. And we're just going to stick that just like this. And I'm going to put a little bit more here. So I'm going to put a little bit more hot glue right here. And we're just going to stick that down on here just like this. And this is what we have so far. Next thing we're going to do is you're going to take that jumbo popsicle stick. And you're just going to cut a door. So we're just going to take it. And we're just going to cut. And we're just going to cut off a little more. And now we're going to take our little scissors. And I am just going to take this and cut a little more off. And see where I want it to be. I like it right there. So I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue on here. Very careful. And we're going to stick that door right about here. This is what we have. Now we're going to need a little handle for that door. So I'm going to grab me to pick and I am just gonna cut a little piece for the door handle which we're gonna put here and we're gonna stick that right there just like this and this is what we have and the only 